Hi, this is a little update on the air conditioner that I had in my little mini trailer right there. A little mini camper uh, or cargo trailer conversion. Uh, this air conditioner did okay, but it didn't cool it like I think it should because it's a 9,000 BTU unit. And if you look in here, and, and some of the problems with this is, with these putting these in there, if you do have one, you're going to stick it in there. This is something you're probably going to have to do. Uh, the air comes in here and then blows out here. It's cool. Now down here, the air comes out right here, the hot air, and then the air for that comes in down here and I don't know if y'all can see it or not but the air comes in from here and blows out here so you're kind of wanting outside air to come into this and what's been happening is this thing pulls a huge vacuum on that trailer I noticed that when I put the uh, little wash unit in there it just like sucked it right on in I'm going well, what the heck's going on all this air blowing out all the time is pulling a suction on that so nothing ever moves in there and any air that comes in through here is my cold air and then it's pulling hot air from everywhere around the trailer it can get in there which ain't very much so it pulls a vacuum on it so I took some styrofoam it looks a little rough right now but I'm gonna gussy her up but the the shrouding or the intake of it is on this side and the back side uh, and then what I'm going to do, I've already got the hoses running there. <clears throat> I use plain styrofoam insulation and uh, the Loctite 2-in-1, which I'm a big fan of this stuff. And this is not a paid promotional or anything like that. This is my personal use of it. This stuff is really good. It's good for 50 years and everything, and it doesn't degrade the styrofoam at all. So. If you're working with styrofoam and you want to glue stuff together, this is it. But all this is going to be trimmed down. I'm going to foil tape all of this and it's going to be nice. And then I'm going to paint the whole thing black so you think it's part of the unit. <coughs> but I'm pulling air from underneath the bed for the back part of it. And then that's where it exits. I don't know if y'all can see it. This thing's got a light on it somewhere. Is that it right there? Yeah, okay. That's the exit of it, and that's the water hose down there. Uh, it's pulling all that air, but it needs to pull it from the outside. It doesn't need to pull it from the inside, and it, and it causes a heck of a vacuum in here, and it just wasn't good at all. And excuse the mess. I'm, during building the new shop I've had to store some stuff in here but anyway uh, now it's going to be pulling the air from underneath the bed and I have a, a vent right back there on the side and uh, that's where the air is going to be coming in from the back it's not going to be coming from in here so the only air that's going to be circulating is the air up top and all of the air is going to come through here and all the hot air is going to go out there and it's not going to be vacuum in here so if you do do one of these uh that might be something you want to uh address because it took me a little while to figure it out and there's a lot more smarter people out there they've never posted <laughs> and said anything about it so i had to figure it out on my own but uh that's what i got planned to do and the hoses will hook right up on the side there pull air straight out of there through the unit to move the hot air out of the unit just like a central air unit you know you got the central air unit on the outside you got the fan pulling through the coils pulling the hot air out of the freon or removing the heat from the freon this is the same thing but the only problem is this small trailer in here and it's sealed so tight it just created a darn vacuum in the thing so uh let's pull air out of the outside here cool it and go down there and i'm gonna let you know here in the future when i when i get it all hooked up hopefully this weekend and uh, get this thing ready to go on the road so we can go fishing uh, but that's just an update on that if, if y'all do plan on having one of those and, and, and put one in there 
you're going to have to kind of do that. Uh, and a sheet of this stuff is very inexpensive. It re I don't know if silicone degrades the styrofoam or not. I know this this doesn't. This works really well. It's got a 50 year, you know, guarantee on it and everything. And I used it on my house and everything. And it goes in white and then it goes transparent once it's dry. And you can see I put this on a couple days ago and it's starting to seal up. So I've been running it. That's enough air going through it. So I think this is going to work a lot better because now on nothing but cold air is going through here, cold air is going out, warm air is going in here and hot air is going out or air from the outside is coming in here and the hot air comes going out there. So I, that's been the problem with this thing because I figured a 9000 BTU unit should just cool that thing really good but it never really has. It only really cooled it good at night. And now I know why. So just a little update on that guys. And this is something simple to do. I picked this thing up on the cheap, uh, reconditioned. It works really well, but in that way it was set up in there, it wasn't gonna work good. Now hopefully it's gonna work good. He's gonna get the air from the outside to remove the heat from the trailer to go out and then the cold air is going to stay in the trailer. Alright? Just wanted to give you a little update on that if you plan on putting one of those in there uh, so you don't make the mistake I did. 10-4. Please hit like and subscribe and leave me a comment please and subscribe because that thousand subscriber video is coming up. So when you hit subscribe then uh, you're going to see a good video. Alright. Thanks guys. Bye.